Star Wars fans have got used to disappointment throughout the Disney era, meaning we no longer trust what they're going to do. We no longer just watch everything just because it's Star Wars. So in this video, I'm going to give you my four reasons why I think The Bad Batch is worth it. I can already hear some of you taking to the comments saying, but I couldn't even make it through Clone Wars. I'm not really interested in an animated show. The Disney stuff has just not been good enough for me to give any time of day to it. I completely understand. Here's what I'm going to ask. If you would just make it through this video, hear what I have to say. I think my last point in particular is going to be able to change your mind. And if not, hey, at least you gave it a shot, right? Well, let's get right into it. I think the first reason that I've enjoyed Bad Batch and why I would say it is worth it for you to watch is it's oddly familiar, the dynamics among the characters in the show are oddly familiar to another cartoon from my childhood that I absolutely loved. Hunter, Wrecker, Tech, Echo, Omega, Crosshair, all of the characters in Bad Batch, the way they work together, the way they're written together really just works. The dynamics between them I think is really interesting and intriguing, especially throughout the first two seasons. I'm looking forward to see what they do in the third season, but I think that that's a big part of every show that you watch. Are you interested in the characters? Now, to be fair, some have said they don't really love Omega. She's a little bit annoying at times. And I can see that. I understand that. But that was more a complaint coming after season one. Season two, I think, did a much better job of bringing that all together. Number two, the fact that this show expands on our understanding of Order 66. Video games, books, comics all go into this time period because there's so much to be told about what's happened right after the clones take out the Jedi, the, the mass chaos that happens. And some have kind of pushed back and said, we just keep finding more Jedi that have survived these. I get that. But at the same time, I think this show does a great job of giving us more lore, more understanding, and a whole different perspective of Order 66 than we get in the movies or even the books, comics, video games, so on and so forth. If that's something that would intrigue you, I think you would love this show. Third, I think the second season was even better than the first, and that is often not the case. A lot of times the first season of something is the thing that grabs you and gets you into it and you enjoy it. And now you might remember back to Clone Wars. A lot of folks say the first season of Clone Wars definitely was not the best, and I actually agree with that. But here, the second season has expanded and gone deeper and explored different dynamics, more relationships, brought in other characters, which I've really enjoyed. So I'm really excited for season three to see how they can build on it and bring this all to a close. That's also kind of part of my number three is that this isn't going to go on forever and ever and ever. We're looking at season three being the final chapter of this series. And so this is a nice three season series that you can really dig into and not feel like you're having to wade through hundreds of episodes just to get caught up and to understand what's going on. Lastly, and I think this is the thing that will bring most people enjoyment from the show, is watching the Republic shift into the Empire. I already mentioned previously that this time period in Star Wars is really intriguing, and this is one of those reasons. The Ahsoka show tried to go into that, but I don't think it does it as well as Bad Batch. I think we see some of the politics behind the scenes, as well as we see some of the fighting between the clone troopers, and now everything else that that's happening and people trying to figure out what is this empire? Can we resist what's being done here? It's all really interesting and it makes the show just work. Are you going to give it a shot? Are you going to see if this is a show worth watching? I think it is. And the great part is you only have two seasons to get caught up on as season three is about to start. You could start watching that show even this week. And then by midway through season three being out, you're going to be able to enjoy the whole thing all at once without breaks, without waiting for the next season and all of that. And that means the, all of the cliffhangers that we've gotten from the end of season two and seen in some of the trailers of season three, you're going to be able to catch right up right away. That's my thoughts. What do you think? What is the reason that you found that it's worth it if you have? Or let me know down below if you're going to give it a shot. Would love to know that in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you found value in this video, consider leaving a like on the way out 
or if you want to check out another video on my channel, you can click right over here. Remember, the force will be with you always.